welcome back to the Offbrid family. I'm Crystal, I'm part of the Offbrid family. I haven't done videos myself yet, I have been in the background of most of them. So today I'm going to attempt to make a thermoelectric generator. I watched another YouTuber make one, so I thought, mm, it looks easy for me to do. Stuff's ordered, so I thought, let's give it a go today. This is the thermoelectric generator. Um, one side you can make hot and the other side you can make cold. And this then will generate electricity. So the more the difference between the hot and the cold, um, the more electricity you get. Um, we're going to be using 10 of these. Um, they'll be going on the bottom of a loaf tin. Um, all set up in series um, and then connected. But we'll, you'll be able to see more of that in a second. Right, so these thermoelectric generators here are going to go to, on the bottom of the loaf tin, um, right in facing up, and we should be able to get five on each side. Now you have to make sure that when you've got these, that they fit nicely on the on the loaf tin. Um, I don't know whether it makes any difference whether the, there's loaf tin overlapping, but you just don't want any of the thermoelectric generators hanging over the edge. The reason you don't want them overlapping is because um, you want the water to be able to cool them down. Okay, so it'd be a lot easier to work with by cutting down the wires. Um, or make sure that they, the two end ones, though, there is leave them a bit longer because they will need to be joined together. Obviously, you've got further to go. So I'm going to cut them now. Never done it before, so let's give it a go. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them about there. Um, I think it's better to go a little bit longer because you can always cut them off so you can't add them easier not to. Um, it's not a big major thing at the minute because we're going to be sticking them down which will be a lot easier as well to attach them all together. So now we've come to the end one now, we want to cut this one the same length, roughly, of the others. And then I'm going to cut this one a bit longer. So I say, you can always cut it a bit, you can always cut it a bit shorter later. Because we want to get that connection. Oops. It's okay, my eyes are going for so all I can see is red and black. I feel like I'm on some sort of game show. But this does take a bit of time, just because there's so many of them. Sure, James will be able to do something with that wire. Okay, so we're going to leave these ones this long. And now, this is what we've got, silicone, it's like a paste. This then will um, put a little bit on, smear it on. This is designed to take extreme heat. Um, so this is the silicone for the job. What we need to do now is we need to place them all back on in the right order, making sure that the two longer ends are on the ends. I think that's right. I'll cut that one a bit short, I think. Should still, yeah, should still work. Okay. What I've actually just noticed is that I've put this one around the wrong way. So even though it was long enough, we'll keep it like that. So now we're going to get the silicone and we're going to stick them on, making sure that the writings face up and they're all in the right place. Okay, so we're going to put this down. Put about, I don't know, about a pea size maybe. Well, it depends. 
depends where you buy your peas really. So about that. So you can just slide it around. Um, just make sure that it's on. still quite slidey so I'm hoping that I'll be able to move it further along later on if I can't get them all on. funny because I want them all straight so it's quite annoying when I go back and it's moved but I don't know why that's a bit of OCD going on there Okay, so now to the other side. So this tin is a bit wide, um, and just because I like things a bit symmetrical and the same, I'm just going to leave the little line down the middle which is it's okay because it's the wires that obviously need to be connected so i'll go back and straighten them all up in a minute So this little tube is plenty, you can see I've hardly used anything and I think it was used before so it goes quite far really. So there we are, let's make sure we put the lid on. So now we're all stuck down it'll take a while for them to dry and still feel like even the first one's still quite slidey um, so it gives you plenty of time to go back and straighten things up and if you put one in the wrong place you know you can go and correct it um, so now we'll have to just wait for that to dry okay so now that they're all on there they're all where I want them put something heavy on it over overnight it doesn't have to be a prison break um, something heavy um, just to keep them just to give them that bit of extra support really um, 24 hours should be enough so and the magic of YouTube see you in a little while <laughs> 